Hey guys, Blazin here. Uh, so, Tekken 8 got an update, like, a few days ago, as I was making this video, and I thought I'd give some of my thoughts on, well, not every character, because otherwise that'd take too fucking long, but at least the characters I play. And, uh, and I thought I'd give my thoughts on them. So, we're gonna start off with Brian. So, Brian got a buff to his Heat Smash. Uh, I got, like, a damage increase, and it's also more plus on block. Uh, those two things I really disagree on. And this is just kind of my logic between like Heat Smash because it's like all Rage Arts do 55 damage and we have Brian here doing this uh, Heat Smash that's also doing the same amount of damage as a Rage Art. And he was already plus on block with his Heat Smash so I don't know why they made it even more plus. Like I thought I thought the the, the frame advantage on block and the damage was, was fine. I wish that was never touched. But at least it's more consistent during combos and you know it's just for the most part it, it's hitbox is more consistent so that part's fine i just don't agree with the damage increase and i don't agree with the frame advantage increase and you're probably thinking to yourself damn this guy is complaining about buffs to a character he plays that's absolutely crazy that being said let's move on to the other buffs that i actually like so brian's like forward two one three string i think uh during snake guys got buffed so the forward uh two one two the third two uh, is now minus two on block. Uh, I believe that used to be more negative. I can't remember what it used to be, but uh, it's now minus two. So I kind of wish it was minus three. I'm a little picky with the frame data. Uh, minus two may be a little too forgiving. I prefer minus three, but hey, it'd be safe regardless. So that's a nice buff. And while we're still on the string, his forward two, one, two, three. So the fourth hit is now minus three. I believe that used to be minus 15. So not launch punishable anymore now it's just safe and again like i said i'm, I'm a bit picky with my frame data minus three i kind of wish it was minus seven instead but hey still safe so uh yeah these are buffs i actually like and as for the last buff he got with his three plus four two string during snake eyes is that the charge up version of the fist is no longer uh you can't uh, power crush through it and you can't counter it either. Uh, the charge up version only. Uh, as you can see, the regular version, you can still parry it. And I'll probably show power crush here in a second. But the charge up version, you can no longer power crush through it. And you can't counter it. Uh, I think that's a nice buff. Alright, next up, Devil Jin. Uh, he only got one nerf really but it's kind of a big deal so his heat smash the nerf the nerf <laughs> uh they nerfed the range of his heat smash so his demon cycle crusher no longer goes as far as it used to be so that's good and then his the tracking on it as well has also been nerfed so there's now a chance you can sidestep it you'll see some of my some of my terrible attempts uh like the speed of it is still really fast but hey, I'm glad this is nerfed. This was probably the really the only dumb thing Devil Jin had and pretty much everyone was complaining about. And now that it has been nerfed, uh, hopefully uh, he can get some, uh, some love back later. Very quickly here, let's talk about Jin. So his 1-2-1 strings, specifically the one where he flies up in the air, uh, that has been nerfed. There's now like a more of an upper hurt box. So that way it's easier to punish, as you can see. You can simply like jab punish with a high. Uh, that was not possible before, so Jin kind of got away sometimes. So this is, you know, this is a fair nerf. He, he definitely needed this, so uh, I'm glad that's there. That also includes his his Zen into up one stance as well. So basically, the, the move where he flies up in the air is just easier to punish. Alright, lastly is Kazuya. Uh, to be honest, he really didn't get a lot, in my opinion, this patch. The only notable thing for me was that his, while rising 2, the downward hitbox has been expanded. So I have Lee here doing slides, and I'm not sure if this was possible before to do while rising 2 like that, but that's like the only scenario I thought of when I when I read the patch. Or maybe someone like Shaheen might have been a better example, or I don't know if it's easier to hit Xiaoyu whenever she does like crouch a little bit, but uh, yeah, the downward hitbox on while rising 2 has been expanded downward. And then forward forward 2 as well has also been expanded uh, downward, the uh, the hitbox. But I'm not sure how much value that, that has for forward forward 2. But for while rising 2, it's nice. 
And then apparently they fixed the, I guess just the consistency of his hell sweeps. Uh, apparently the second hit was missing for some people. I've never had that happen to me before. Maybe like once, but other than that, I, I'm like, it's not really common for me. But if it was an issue for you, well, I'm glad it's fixed. So overall, the reception of this patch has been very positive, including myself. Thankfully, the uh, top tiers, quote unquote, have been nerfed, which was the main focus of this patch, or at least like the main highlight. Uh, obviously, uh, uh, Dragunov and Azucena were the hardest ones that got hit, and then Fangwei got like a slap on the wrist. And same thing with Xiaoyu and June. Like a lot, a lot of the strong characters are, are being targeted and getting nerfed. So that is good. Now, when it comes to the characters I play, um, other than the heat smash buff that I did screw to Brian, the other buffs I really do like about Brian. And then Jin with his fair nerf, uh, you know, it's fair, that's fine. Devil Jin's nerf was fine. Uh, Kazuya just kind of got, like, just consistency updates. Uh, honestly, while we have these two characters on screen, Brian and Jin, in my opinion, are kind of perfect characters in this game. Uh, I don't want them to get buffed too much, and I don't want them to get nerfed too much. I think they are really good at, where like, where they're at. Uh, Devil Jin, I wish maybe later could get a little bit of love back. And then Kazuya, I think, out of all the characters that have been shown here, definitely, I think, needs the most love. I do think he's struggling slightly. Maybe slightly might be an understatement. He really is a good character. Like, Kazuya really is a good character. The problem is that it requires so much... He requires so much, uh, maintenance to be really good with. Um, maybe almost too much maintenance in the context within this game. But, uh, yeah, those are my thoughts on the patch and the characters and whatnot. Overall, it's, it's overall a solid patch. It's a really good, uh step in the right direction for the game and uh eventually i will have a wish list video for you know for my boys my my mishimas so that will include kazuya devil jin and jin i'm just actually being patient because it seems like uh namco seems to have a plan with uh their with their patches lately so this patch seems to be you know nerfing the overtuned characters the next patch seems to be look like to buff defense so namco looks like they have a direction now so I don't know if I'm going to make a wish list anytime soon. I might wait for the June patch and then we'll see what happens after the June patch and then maybe I'll make a wish list then. But uh, yeah, but that's pretty much it. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you enjoy the content on this channel. And until next time, peace.